Hey guys, it's Devil. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the fourth episode in the Minecraft PvP trap series. If you guys have been wondering why it's taking me so long to put these videos out, I actually submitted one about a week and a half ago, but it got declined for formatting reasons. Uh, it was a different video, so I'm going to have to remake it for you guys, but I thought this trap was so badass, this variation that I made of it, that I'm going to make an actual video of it. Now, this is going to be a variation of the Get the Fuck Out of My House trap. The original creator will be in the description below. I'm not taking credit for the trap design, I'm taking credit for the variations that I've made to it, and because I'm bringing it to you guys, so I hope you guys like this. Now, this is my f one of my favorite traps that I've ever made, just because of the variations. The reason I'm showing this, I, this is on my actual server that I play on, by the way, all this gear that I have is gear that I've earned uh, by myself, legitimately. I'm not, a, I'm not a moderator, I'm just a VIP, and uh, I'll talk. The reason I'm telling you guys is I'll talk more about it later. But I can swim in lava with this gear forever. Fall damage does next to nothing to me. Arrows don't do anything. TNT traps, they're laughable. Um, I can basically survive anything with the best gear in the game, right? or I've got close to it. Now, this trap doesn't care about that. This trap will kill you no matter what you're wearing. It will delete your gear, and there'll be no way to get it back. The original trap video doesn't show this in the normal world, or this shows it in the normal world. I have a video out of me and my clan being the first person, first group to the end and killing the ender dragon, so I made this video for the end, and this is why. Enemy comes up to this house. Oh, I want to get inside. Piston doors open, and they fall all the way down to the void, and all their stuff is gone forever. Now, I'm kind of weary right now because I really don't want these things to like open on a glitch. If you want to get in, you do this. So basically this is how the trap works. Button's pushed, this block is powered, redstone comes over here, you have a half slab, you can't use full slabs here otherwise it will cut off the circuit. You come down here, power this block right here, sorry I'm getting some text messages, um, you power that block. Invert the signal, you have an active redstone torch here. And what this active redstone torch does is it powers these repeaters, which sends the signal to these sticky pistons, which are covered, and leaves them active so that the floor stays intact. Buttons pushed, inverts the signal, shuts these off, sticky pistons open, they fall to the death. Super simple, very fast to make, very cheap to make, all around a awesome awesome trap now you could wrap this around and do a double double doors if you wanted to just have pistons on this side make it a little bit wider and pull both floors out it's up to you I like this because it's cheaper and it's on my actual server so it's not creative I need to conserve my pistons I don't have that many so that's why I like doing it like this now this there's another couple variations I made you want the house to look convincing you want it to be welcoming and I mean, I put up a sign that says, fuck Enderman, everybody else is welcome. Makes people think, oh, you know, this guy's, this this couldn't be a trap. The, the last thing in their mind is a trap. But if they're even suspicious, they can come over to the window, look inside. Oh, okay. If you don't have fences in the window, they'll be able to see the redstone in them. So make sure you have fences in the window, and they won't be able to see the redstone unless they, like, are fucking super paranoid and look. Barely. You can they can see a fraction of like a millimeter of it. So put fences in the window and it'll make the house look way more welcoming and they won't suspect a trap and they'll die to it. So that's how you make that trap. Um, a couple other things I want to talk about. This is on my server. All this gear is legitimate. I, I know I invited you guys to come play with me on my clan, whatever, but check this out. I run the biggest clan and that's my key KD ratio. I never fucking die, and it's, you know, it's it's starting to annoy me. I want more competition on the server, so I'm putting out this challenge to all you Machinima guys. Bring your buddies, start up rival clans, do whatever you gotta do, earn your stuff legitimately. I will not go easy on you, I will not surrender, I will not, you know, let you kill me. I want you to kill me. If you kill me, I will talk about you in a video, I will do whatever, you know, I will give you some kind of nice reward, but I want more competition on the server. So join up, try to kill me, good luck, and the last thing I'm going to talk about is on my personal channel I created a new Let's Play series, a hardcore Let's Play, so if you're a fan of me, you like my work, and you want to just see me talking to myself for a long duration of time, 
Uh, I started a hardcore Let's Play. My goal is to kill the Ender Dragon, and it has challenges and stuff created by you guys for me. So, if you're interested in that, that link is also in the description. Come join up. This is Devil, and fuck Enderman. And talk to you later. Bye. Peace.